Hey, everybody. Are we ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, so, hi, this is the DVC Art Department student orientation for this summer and fall 2021. And it's hosted by four of us. Uh, my name's Hopi Berton. I teach sculpture in the art department. I'm Jane Fisher. I'm the incoming department chair. I also am a painting and drawing faculty. Hi, this is Toru Sugita. I'm a current department chair. I'll be leaving, but I, I teach pre making and 2D uh, design. And my name is Christine Pimentuan, and I'm counseling faculty at DBC. So, welcome to the Diablo Valley College uh, Art Department. And we want to start by acknowledging the challenges for students in this past year and the hard work and adjustments uh, that students have had to make. Uh, you've been asked to stretch yourselves in new ways and circumstances that we couldn't possibly have imagined just over a year ago. We noticed that, we acknowledge that, and we're here to support you. And so if you're new to the art department, welcome. We're really proud of the art department and we work really hard to continue to make a creative, engaging, uh, and safe space for everyone. And we're excited to start talking about it. So an overview of this orientation. What we're doing here is we're gonna introduce you to the art department faculty and staff and to all of our disciplines within the art department and facilities. And also talk about how we typically teach art and art history courses in the art department and then what it's gonna look like in summer and fall 2021. And then we'll talk about counseling resources and art department degrees and certificates, and then campus connections, how to stay connected with us on social media, and then department news. So first, some art department fast facts. We teach art history and studio art classes at DVC and at the San Ramon campus. We have 18 studio art faculty and seven art history faculty. We have two instructional assistants, and we're actually currently hiring two more. We have approximately 40 studio art and 15 art history classes each spring and fall semester. And in 2019, 2020, we had approximately 123 art majors pursuing an AA in studio art and 32 art majors pursuing an AAT in studio art and 14 art history majors pursuing AAT in art history. We have a brand new degree, the AA in photography, and we have eight studio classrooms at DVC, one studio classroom at the San Ramon campus, and also a thousand square foot art gallery at the DVC campus. All right, let me introduce art department faculty, Mark Messenger, Carl McDay, they teach ceramics, Chris Koblick, DZ Gang, they teach uh, art history. Big Godinez paintings at San Ramon campus. And Hopi Breton and Jane Fisher. Hopi teaches sculpture and 3D design. And Jane Fisher and uh, Leo Belsamina, they teach painting, drawing. I myself teach printmaking and also 2D design. Nicole White teaches photography. Also, we have some adjunct faculty, including Hannah Tandeta, Linda Noveroski, Denise Lederman, and Amy Raymond, and also Sean Nowicki, they all teach art history. We have studio art adjunct faculty, includes Carla, Lune, Tara, Chris Marker, Chris Nico, uh, Nico, Stephen Duff, Luke Damiani, Laura Van Duren, Wesley Wright, and Monica Van Den Duel. They teach all studio arts. Uh, we have also uh, department staff. AJ Schnittler is in charge of photography studio, and also Arthur Scott King is an instructional assistant in 2D area. Also, he's a gallery coordinator. All right, so uh, we have so many disciplines in our department. Art history, drawing, painting, printmaking, photography, sculpture, jewelry, metalsmithing, and ceramics. We have a comprehensive list of art history courses and new and upcoming in the art history curriculum. We have critical thinking and visual studies. It's expanding beyond traditional art history to examine advertising, illustration, and other forms of visual communication and design. 
history of Asian art is being expanded into two courses, one focusing on South and Southeast Asian art and another on East Asian art. And a new art appreciation course is being developed to give a global view of art history. We also offer a wide range of studio courses. We have drawing, figure drawing, introduction to design, color theory. We have painting, figure painting, intermediate and advanced painting. And we have, of course, have figure drawing with live models, as well as anatomical skeletons. You can see them surrounding me right here. All right. Uh Printmaking area, we have intro class, we have also etching class, and also a monotype class, as well as we have woodblock classes and also screen print. We have visiting artist demos, and also we do some print sales, including t shirts Photography area is a department, also a digital media department. They have a huge darkroom photography, as well as a very good digital photography equipment. In the sculpture area, we teach the 3D design class in there. That's Art 102. And we also teach Sculpture 1 and 2 and Metal Casting Techniques 1 and 2. And in Sculpture 1 and 2, we do everything from wood and plaster and armature construction. We work with rubbers and traditional and non-traditional materials and some metals, both fabricating and casting of metals. The 3D design class that's in the sculpture area is more focused on um, principles and elements of three-dimensional design. So we don't do traditional materials in that class uh, as much. The jewelry and metal smithing area is taught in the same studio as sculpture. And right now we just have jewelry and metal smithing one and jewelry and metal smithing two. In both of those classes, our jewelry casting is introduced as well as fabrication with precious metals, silver, bronze, copper, and gold. The ceramics program has wheel throwing classes, many levels of those, as well as hand building classes. They also have ceramic sculpture class and figurative ceramic sculpture as well. All right, let's talk about the uh, fall and spring typical in-person course structure. If it's a typical 16 weeks semester, like a fall and spring, studio at three hours, we meet three hours meeting twice a week, and also that expect uh, four hours of homework. And also if it's a art history, classes are uh, one hour and a half uh, each time and twice a week, and uh, also around six hours homework expected. Summer is more short, but it's more intense. Summer is only six weeks, and uh, studio art needs four and a half hour each, each time for four times a week, and uh, leaving around 12 hours of homework outside of class time. Art history is two hours meeting, again, a meeting four days a week, and expecting around 16 hours homework outside of class time. That's the typical scenario of the fall, spring, and summer course structure. That's sort of where we left off. Right. It's like a spring. COVID time is slightly different. Before COVID and after COVID, this will be the, this mm -hmm. is the typical scenario. For more information on the types of classes we will be having in the fall, you can go on the website that's shown. It's really important when you look at the class schedule to look at the sample notes because it will give details on whether your class is fully online, whether it has an online meeting, if it's hybrid or if you'll be meeting um, fully in person. So for this summer and fall 2021 in the art department, we want to let you know that the summer 2021 art history classes and studio art classes remain 100% online. In the fall 2021, the art history courses will also remain 100% remote online. But for fall 2021, the studio art classes will be taught in three different formats. One is fully face-to-face. That's 100% in person on campus. Uh, the second way is fully online via Canvas. And then the third way is hybrid. And in the art department, we're gonna have two types of hybrid formats for studio art for fall 2021. And they're indicated in the schedule under notes. 
So when we talk about hybrid classes in this orientation, we mean partially online with on-campus meetings. And let's talk about those a little more. We have a couple of different, uh, two types of hybrid classes. Three sections of Art 101, we actually meet online twice a week. Means it's a Zoom meeting twice a week. Each one is one hour and a half. And uh, we divide the uh, in-person into two groups. So uh, say if it's a Monday, Wednesday class, Monday there's one group comes, and uh, Wednesday there's another group, the other group comes. And uh, they are back to back. So uh, if you are um, in-person group, say you are Monday group, uh, you can bring your laptop to near, near classroom, or you can come into the classroom, and then you can log into the Zoom meeting uh, on campus, and then you can stay for the lab component. And Wednesday, Wednesday group comes with a laptop computer and uh, log into Zoom, and then uh, stay another one hour and a half for the lab component, so I can supervise your lab hours. That's at 101, three sections. And one section is actually total full online, but uh, three sections will be open as hybrid. In the fall, Art 107, which is figure drawing one, and Art 108, which is figure drawing two, are going to be hybrid as well. And of course, hybrid means that you're, as a student, expected to come to campus periodically. The way that we do it in figure drawing is that we are going to be dividing the class into two groups. So the lecture component of the class will be done through Zoom. So let's say you're taking a Tuesday, Thursday figure drawing class. Tuesday, everybody will be watching my Zoom lecture. And then Thursday, half of the class will be coming to the classroom and the other half will be drawing in real time from wherever you happen to be. And then the same thing we'll be having for painting one in the fall, a lecture and then a rotating group of in-class students coming to classroom. So just know if you're signing up for a hybrid class and if you're signing up for a face-to-face -face class, you are going to be coming to campus. So uh, when you see a schedule, you may see class notes, right? And for example, my one note at 101 has a fit long class notes which explains about Zoom part and also uh, uh, in-person part. So please read carefully. Each hybrid has uh, slightly differences. My 101, three sections of 101, you are coming once a week to the campus. And Jane's uh, painting and the sphere drawing class, they were divided into two groups per day. Each group come every two, once in two, two weeks. Is that right, Jane? For our fully in-person classes this fall, remember that is just in studio art. Note that the class capacity right now reflects the CDC guidelines, just like for restaurants. So currently this means that the classes that are scheduled to meet fully in person are capped at 50%. But as the CDC guidelines change, the class capacity might increase and you might see more spaces become available. So for now, our fully in-person classes have a capacity, have capacity limits of around 15 students. And those studio art classes that are scheduled for fully in-person for the fall are introduction to 3D design, one printmaking class. Which printmaking is that, Taru? Uh, intro to printmaking. Intro to printmaking. Sculpture one and sculpture two, jewelry and metal smithing one and two, Wheel thrown ceramics one and two, and hand built ceramics one and two. And it will be safe because we have a small, small group as together, so we can maintain social distancing practice. So it uh, should be very safe. We're gonna practice, you know, you know washing hands. We have a lot of uh, sanitizer, so it will be very safe environment. Next, we've come to the counseling resources. We have about 40 full-time and part-time counselors at DVC, and we are trained to meet with any student. So whatever your major is, you can meet with a counselor that you really feel is a good fit for you. Um, I am the counselor liaison for the art department. So what that means is I get to work closely with the department to really learn more about the students and the classes and to really strengthen the relationship between the art department and counseling. 
Currently, because of COVID, our appointments are online, but when we do go back to offering in-person appointments, we are located in the Student Services Building on the second floor, and the map is really small, but it's where that red arrow is. We have four different types of counseling. The first one that we offer is academic counseling, and this is to make an education plan. An education plan is basically your roadmap that lets you know all of the classes that you have to take for your major, for general education, and depending on what your goal is, whether it's a certificate, uh, associate's degree, or to transfer. Our counseling appointments are either 30 minutes or 45 minute appointments. Second, we have same day drop in counseling. That's if you just have quick questions and you want to speak with a counselor the same day. Um, you can ask questions for up to 15 minutes. Next, we have wellness counseling, and this can be individual counseling or group counseling. And then lastly, we have specialized counseling. So if you are in a special population, such as athletes, international students, veterans, or if you're part of a learning community, then there are specific counselors who work with that group. These are the list of degrees and certificates that are in the art department. We have two types of associate's degrees. So the first type is associate of arts. The second type is associate of arts for transfer. The associate of art degrees in studio art and photography are typically meant for students who are planning to go directly into the workforce after getting the associate's degree. The Associates of Art for Transfer in Studio Art and Art History are typically meant for students who are planning to transfer to a university. These degrees were specifically meant for transfer to the Cal State University, but they do include a lot of the classes that are required to transfer to other schools. We have certificates in printmaking, painting, drawing, ceramics, and photography. With certificates, you are taking classes that are just in the major so that you can build that knowledge base and skills, and it is to help you gain that strength in the occupation as well. Our foundation courses in the art department for studio art are these six. Introduction to 2D design, introduction to 3D design and sculpture, drawing one, photography one, and then two art history courses, history of medieval to renaissance, and then history of Baroque to 20th century. So these core courses are classes that we recommend if you're looking for a place to start. So if you're new to the art department, you're not sure what to take, we do recommend that you start with these courses. But also these are core courses that satisfy requirements for a lot of our degrees. And Drawing 1, which is Art 105, it satisfies a core requirement for a lot of our DBC design degrees, including industrial design, graphic design, animation, art digital media, interaction design for web and mobile platforms, game design, and technical theater. And 3D design, which is Art 102, satisfies a core requirement for DBC's industrial design degree. Another thing about these foundation courses is that they do fulfill degree requirements at many California State Universities in art and also in some design disciplines. And these core courses fulfill degree requirements at the California College of the Arts for all of their art and design degrees. I think it's really important to see a DBC counselor for details about all the DBC degrees and transferring, but we're just saying that these are classes that we do recommend and feel are a strong place to start. Mm -hmm. And things are always changing. Transfer requirements are always changing. That's why we do recommend for the most up-to-date info to meet with a counselor and um, to meet with a counselor every semester. We do also host a lot of events. We have student art exhibitions each year. We have a spring art department awards and barbecue party. We have a student art sales, an event called Monster Draw. We have multiple figure drawing model thons and cast iron art pours. We have the James O'Keefe comic contest. And we also have a student art club and a student photography club, as well as multiple visiting artists lectures. We also have about five shows a year in the DBC Art Gallery. Right now, we're still active with our exhibitions in the gallery, and you can go to this website cited up here to check out the shows anytime. Um, I think that what I want to emphasize here is just to welcome everyone to just stay in touch with us as much as possible. 
So I, I wanted to write these emails down for everybody and also follow us on our social media, which is listed down here. And so you're welcome to contact us, any of the faculty, anytime. Ask us when our virtual office hours in, if you, if you want to drop into our office hours and just chat and visit. That would be great. You don't have to be enrolled in a class with a specific instructor to reach out and meet up virtually while we're all going through this. Please do stay in touch. A couple of notes is uh, our renowned longtime painting, drawing, watercolor instructor, Professor Michel Krapp, uh, retired last year. And uh, that's probably something you maybe always oh, Michelle. She's actually retired, and uh, we all appreciate her contribution for 30 years of service to our department and that, that led to uh, she was actually very much involved to a new art department building so we're going to move on to, into a new art building which is under construction right now we are anticipating moving before fall 2022 so just over one year we'll be relocating to a new building a uh, new art complex 45,600 square feet and that's actually northeast corner of the DBC campus uh, between performing arts, uh, horticulture, and kinesiology. And uh, we're going to be including art department, art gallery, and also art digital media department will be in the same building, as well as applied the finance division office will be in the same building, which is uh, all good news. And uh, we are all excited about it. See everybody soon. Thanks for being here.